a week, it's been. Public sector workers went on strike. <laughs> Teachers, they were out in force. <laughs> yeah. That's got to be confusing on a demonstration, isn't it? What do we want? For you to put your hand up if you want to ask a question. <laughs> It's your own time you're wasting. <laughs> Border control officers went on strike and they were replaced by vets. <laughs> uh, how did they check terrorist passports? <laughs> are you a good boy? No, are you a good boy? <laughs> are you a good boy? You are a good boy. <laughs> Did you see the final of I'm a Celebrity last night? Yeah! Sunita said the show should get Simon Cowell and that he would win. Yeah. She's not wrong, is she? Who's going to beat him once he started soaping those magnificent breasts under the jungle shower? <laughs> I <don't think. laughs> Mylene who? Honestly, I think. <laughs> I'm sure all this year's celebs will get an emotional send-off at the airport. Mainly from kangaroos with highly pitched voices. And don't bother coming back! <laughs> Michael Jackson's Dr. Comrade Murray was sent down for four years for giving a lethal overdose of propofol. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Jacko's doctor got the maximum sentence despite the judge receiving a letter from his mum. A letter from his mum? <laughs> Excuse from jail, he's got lady problems. <laughs> now, go. What a lineup we have for you tonight. <laughs> I'll be joined by the star of the hit sitcom Life's Too Short. Yes, Warwick Davis will be here with his sidekick, <laughs> some bloke called Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Never heard of him. I'll be chatting skimpy outfits, sexual tension and all things Strictly with Alicia Dixon, Bruno Taglioni and Craig Revel Horwood later. And there's music from the brilliant Ed Sheeran. But first, we asked 100 people who they'd most like to kick off this week's show with. What do you think the top answer was? Yes, madam, you're right. <laughs> it's Vernon <laughs> Kay! to dress up, Vernon. <laughs> <laughs> a grey jumper and some, what's these, caterpillar boots? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, watch me pork scratches. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd leave the jacket to you, Alan. You look very smart and dapper, and I'm used to wearing it like a suit and a tie on Family Fortune, so I thought, you know what, I'll change it up a bit. I'll just go cash. Is this how you dress down, then? This is me dressed down. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah thanks, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> What would you like to drink? I've got loads of nice drinks. Pink Fizz. Right. Alize. Alize? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks like uh, water coolant for a car. Funny, does it? It is. That's a really piss, though. Go on, I'll have an Alize. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm having an Alize, too. Is there... Is there a, remember, uh, was it Malibu and... What was the other one? Taboo! 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 Oh, you've got, got some Yeah, of the Malibu, yeah. but a cheaper version. Yeah. <laughs> on, you come in here in your crappy grey <laughs> jumper, slagging off my Elise and Tabo. <laughs> You've got some nerve. You have got some nerve. I like my sweater. It makes me feel at home and relaxed. Oh, well, that's the main thing. Yeah. You're getting a big ah ah from me. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed notes. No. Oh, oh yeah, 
if you didn't want to drink it, you should have just bloody said. <laughs> It's all right. No, it's all right, because I, I, I used to be a caretaker in primary schools in Bolton, right? No, it's true, it's true, I did, with the tabard and everything. And if you ever spilt anything, just get the headmistress's cushion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, is, that is too much! Yeah. She'll never know! She'll never oh. know! And we used to do... Well, used... you'll have some more. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to host your first show on Channel 4 since you left T4. Yeah. It's a good Christmassy feel to yeah. the show, isn't it? It's a good family show. It's got the, the big uh, Christmas vibe. You know how families all get together at Christmas? It's called Home for Holidays, isn't it? Home for Holidays, it? Holidays, yeah. for holidays yeah. And uh, two families come together, and basically the family's in this huge, big, stately home. Uh, the couple are just about to get married, so it's his family and her family, and we're going to put them into a huge house, yeah. and then we're going to have a giant, big game show with them. And what, what do they yeah. win? They win up to five hundred thousand yeah, pounds. Imagine that's... winning that! <laughs> no! Imagine winning that on Christmas Eve. Oh, so the amazing. finals on Christmas Eve, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's nice. Why don't you do a celeb version? Can you imagine the royal family and the Middletons? <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh. Pepper just slapped me. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, what are you like at Christmas, you and Tess? Do you have fights? Are you all you? Is it quite an easy going Christmas? No, it's quite quite easy going because we we establish Christmas roles early, and I think that's what you have to do in it. Who cooks the food? Like myself and my dad, we tend to put all the Lego together for the kids. Yeah. So uh, we do all that, and my mum and Tess and and Sylvia, Tess's mum, they're kind of. I I do the roast potatoes. Right, because yeah. Gary Rhodes taught me how to make good roast potatoes. And there's a key, there's a, there's a secret to good roast potatoes. Tell us. Yeah. Well, what you do is you boil them, <laughs> then put them back in the pan, put the lid on, and you shake them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's not, Vernon, I don't want to, like, be horrible, but that's not actually a secret. <laughs> you know? Everyone knows that. Really? Vernon, Vernon, do you know what I do? Sometimes I put the oven on. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows that. I thought you were going to like, yeah, I'll put a well, bit no. of Belize in there. <laughs> <laughs> what about your mum? She's become a star. Gladys. Yeah, Gladys. No, it's a bit weird. We did a, we did a, a, a cooking spray commercial. And uh, she's become quite a star in Bolton. Yeah. Bless her. She walks around our local supermarket and, and random fellas walk past her going, 40% less saturated fatty, love. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want my mother to be associated with a product that sort of spreads easily. <laughs> <laughs> She's not like that, Alan. No, I know. She's a good Catholic woman. But people think that, don't they? Only you. <laughs> <laughs> and those four ladies over there. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, calm down. Have you decided what you're going to get Tess for Christmas this year? Not yet, but I'm quite good with gifts. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I'm oh, all right. That's I'm strange, because right. men don't yeah. normally know what No, I'm like. all right. I know what she likes. Uh, so, yeah, oh. I've not decided just yet, but it, it will be good. I mean, how do you and Tess keep the magic alive? Role play? <laughs> Water sports? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you... <laughs> We do do date nights. I think it's important that if you've got kids, and yeah. uh, you have to spend a, a specific amount of time together to yeah. kind of, you know, keep things on track. So date nights are always good. A little you bit do of role play though. A little bit of role nights play. Like, that, like, oh, yeah. you're going to a bar. Hi, She's I'm... June Ackland. You know, it would be like the bill. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> June Ackland. I might get arrested. Who are you? They got birds. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Role play. Well, you know, yeah. not necessarily. Now, Tess's work colleagues are on later. Yes. When I'm watching Strictly, there's that sexual tension between Brucey and Tess, which I personally... <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> I, I find it a bit too much for that time in the evening. <laughs> I, I, I look away, Alan, I'll yeah. be honest I mean, is that how you cope with it? Are you like... Bleh, bleh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reading magazine, you know, like the girls are dancing and then there's Brie, I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, girl? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Has he touched the thigh yet? <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> I mean, Brucey can't keep doing Strictly forever. Now, do you reckon ever you'd, you'd take his place? I don't know, there's always been talk about 
about Strictly, but I've never actually sat down in front of anyone and talked about it. And to be honest with you, I think uh, with Tess being on it as well, I think one Daily K is enough, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But if you did, say you did take after Brucey, yeah. and you came down the stairs, what would you be your trademark dance? Oh, it'd have to be a little bit of uh, mid-1980s mid locking and popping, a bit of body, body popping, oh. break dancing. Oh, that'd be yeah. amazing. Because you know how Bruce does his tap dancing and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Tess is waiting for him and then she lifts her leg up and that kind of thing. He holds it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was unbearable, honestly. <laughs> I was crossing my legs. About... <laughs> <laughs> would you do it for us? Please yeah. show yeah. 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 Imagine my stairs or the Strictly Come Dancing stairs. Right. Could you do that? Yeah. Oh. Are you going to be Tess? Yes, yes, I'll All be right. Tess. All right. <laughs> You're taking over from Brucey, OK? Right. And now on BBC One, your favourite dancing show, Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Say hello to Tess from me. I'm the brave Ricky Gervais and Warren Davis. The Strictly Come Dancing Jazz and Ed Sheeran will be here. See you in part two. Come on. Welcome back. The Strictly Come Dancing judges and Ed Sheeran will be here in a bit. <laughs> There's been in more hit sitcoms and movies than I've had hot dinners so far this week. It's the brilliant <laughs> Ricky Gervais and Warwick Davis. I must explain straight away. Yeah. I'd usually run down those stairs, carrying Warwick. Do. <laughs> but I've, I've pulled a muscle in my back working out yesterday. Serves me right. Oh, I've had the doctor out. Really? Do you want me to rub something in the back? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Straight away. I'm only being nice. Oh. I'm on painkillers, anti-inflammatories. Oh, oh, God. Sit, sit up, Warwick. Sit, sit up, up What do you mean, sit up where? Closer? Yeah, closer. All right. Yeah, sit along. I don't know whether to sit forward or back. Well, what do you want? I mean... He's, like, quite like if he sits back, you can see the soles of his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a problem, because yeah. if I've trodden in something, everybody knows about it. Oh, so, no. no. You don't have to sit watching the show going dog shit. See, oh, you've got... Yeah. It's a little bit of blue oh, tack. Oh, what are you bloody in? It's something. Oh, no. <laughs> I best sit like this, Alan. Yes, yeah, you I sit like that. Like that? Well, I'll like sit some... like that as well because I've got a bad back. Oh. So see, what was you doing? Was you doing like I was squats? working out to try and keep fit because I eat and drink too much. So I work out like Rocky the next day because I refuse to give up anything. The only reason I want to get fit is to live longer. The only reason I want to live longer is to eat more cheese. So that's the that's the. <laughs> but I'm fine. It just gets better. I just do it now and again. Yeah. So yeah. Have you ever had that one where it actually locks and you're like that? Yeah. yeah well, no, no, it's dangerous. <laughs> Down I mean, the street, and people are going, have a day off, Alan. You know, you're on the yeah. telly now. You know, I can't. <laughs> you're back. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, you can always drink through it. Black Tower. <laughs> I'll mix it with the painkillers. I'll be slurring like Kerry Katona. Go on, let's have some. Can't you see eating something, Ricky? Look how you're wasting away, love. Oh, I know. Well, I'm going to get fat because I hadn't worked out today and I just had a pizza because I was depressed. Oh. So, <laughs> so I started, love. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, and you met on extras, didn't you? Yeah, he phoned me up about extras, which was um, a phone call that I wasn't expecting. No. Um, just at home, having a normal day. And then this guy phones up and says, it's Ricky Gervais on the phone. And... Uh, I said, oh, yeah, because I thought somebody doing an impression of him. Yeah, yeah. 
last thing I'd expect is him to call up. And, um, <coughs> and then he laughed, right? Which nobody laughs like Ricky no, Gervais, do they? No. So I was convinced then, yes, it is him. And um, then he followed up by saying, I'm writing this new series and um, it's called Extras. And would you mind uh, if in one of the episodes I accidentally kicked you in the face? <laughs> I think I said it'd be an honour to be kicked in the face well, by you. Yeah. Didn't I? And, it's an offer you couldn't refuse. So started a beautiful friendship. And then life's too short started. Um, well, yeah, um, out of the blue, um, I didn't keep in touch with Warwick. He, he got paid and that was enough. So, um, but. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he asked me for a quote for his um, new autobiography. Still available. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And, yeah. uh, it's I, doing I, well, your book, isn't it? I saw it in the uh, in the news age. No, not in the news. In the oh, oh. Black in, the, in the bargain bin. No, no I know it weren't well in the bargain <laughs> bin. So with it, oh, you are an arsehole. Anyway, <laughs> twisting everything I say. But did you buy one? No, oh, no, I just looked at it, flicked through it. <laughs> you know, it's like you look in the back, don't you? See if you're actually included, Alan. Just Carr, in Alan case. Carr, yeah. yeah. You know? Well, you would be in the next one. You liar! I never did that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was that an impression of me? No. <laughs> no. It was Dot Cotton. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he asked me for a, a, a quote, and I gave him a rather cheeky one, which he used, surprisingly. Yeah. I, um, I said, um, pound for pound, Warwick Davis is one of the funniest people I've ever met. Oh. Um, <laughs> and that sort of spun, cos we sort of include something like that in, in the series where... Yeah. ..he wants a quote and, and uh, you know, we're taking the mickey. So, uh, it all came from that, really, and, um, and Warwick just started, you know... The first story he ever told me is, I think, well, you tell it. Well, this well, actually happens yeah. to work in real life. If I go shopping with my wife, for example, uh, she'll go off into a clothes shop, not for me, so I go and look at the magazines <laughs> or something like that. I mean, no top shelf ones, obviously. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm married, what are you thinking? <laughs> um, so, and then after a while, I get bored of that, so I go and find Sam in the clothes shop. Yes. As soon as I walk in the door, they go, oh, she's over there, near the changing rooms. And I'm thinking quietly to myself, how do they know I'm with her? Do you know what I mean? They've oh, made an assumption. Yeah. My wife's short, by the way, just let you know. And, uh, but then, when I told this to Ricky, of course... Um... And the real Warwick Davis goes, thanks very much. Yeah. yeah. But the fake Warwick Davis in this doesn't let it lie. Oh. So he can't stand it. So he starts, what, what, you know, how do you know I was meeting her? Because this Warwick Davis, it, it, you know, he plays a fictional version of himself, and he's very different. Uh, in the real life, Warwick is charming, He's probably the most stable together guy. The one in this is oh. a whinger. Yeah. Oh. He's manipulative. <laughs> he um. In and he's real... a bit of a dick, if I can he say. Is. No, he is. No, he is. He is. He's a, dick. a complete dick. Oh. And, and he's and he's ripping off other dwarves. In this, he, he runs a <laughs> he runs a, an agency for dwarves, which oh. which Warwick does in in yeah. real oh, I know. life. I know. But in this one, he takes all the best jobs for himself and he rents those out as bowling balls and <laughs> fire from oh. cans. <laughs> Well, we've got an exclusive preview of next week's episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I, when, when you're watching it, some of the experiences, please tell me, no, as people genuinely asked you to dress up as an Ewok? Um, <laughs> tell me about the garden centre. Oh, yeah. I was at the garden centre recently uh, with Sam, and um, uh, the manageress came up and said, um, hello, um, we're, we're having a sort of open... Day near Christmas, we're gonna have uh, Santa here and everything. And I didn't know whether you'd like to come along, being sort of a local, uh, local <laughs> person, local sort of celebrity. And I said, "Oh, great! Yeah, no, no I'll, I'll come and support the event. It's for charity and everything." She said, "Yeah, and um, well, can you bring your elf costume as well?" <laughs> and, uh, sorry. Oh, and no. um, yeah, I, she sort of presumed that I might have one you know, yeah. in, in the yeah. wardrobe, along with the, the Seven Dwarfs costume <laughs> and uh, the Paddington Bear costume. You know, <laughs> sort of the whole set. Yeah, but, uh, which is great, I mean, of course. But this yeah. is this is the point, isn't it? It's their <laughs> prejudice. They, they've yes. got these assumptions. That's why they're worried when he's actually doing a real acting role, as opposed to being a, a, a yes. one of the yes. seven dwarves They'd or be being right five. If he had like the old hat on and the little shoes oh, going high. Exactly. Oh, oh, they oh, get oh, that. Oh, they're like, oh, that's nice. They, exactly. Yeah. They understand that, yeah. right? And it's usually always the people who complain. Right. They're always complaining on someone else's behalf. Yes. And also because just because you're offended, it doesn't mean you're right. You no, know, no. it's a great show, and Warwick's brilliant in it. And I say, fuck them. And people are loving it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not a show about Warwick being short. Yeah. And Warwick's had some stick from other members of the uh, um, small people community. What do you call it? Is it dwarf community or small people community? I mean, you, you never could, know well, do no, what no, to no, say, you can, do you? You could call it the dwarf community or the little people community or small people community. Oh, I right, mean, okay. there's, there's lots of different ways of... 
of yeah. terming it. Yeah. You know, when people come and have a chat with me sometimes, they can't help but say the word short. They try not to, yeah. but the more they try not to, they end up saying short, small. We had a guy come round uh, once <laughs> to our house to, to do a quotation to do some landscape gardening, and I said, I'd love a a little wall around the patio area here. Oh. And, um, and he said, oh, you mean, um, well, you mean a dwarf? Uh, 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 you, mean, uh, you mean a wall with not too many bricks in it? Yeah. <laughs> well, the correct term is a dwarf wall. Yeah, That's what it's called. Wall. But he couldn't yeah. say it. And he got so tangled up over this. Um, I don't think he ever sent a quote, actually. No. <laughs> Me and Warwick are mates, and I tease him. You know, yeah. I, I, there's, there's a clip yeah. that we're, you know, I, on YouTube where I dress him up as a frog. Oh, we've got and, that here. Oh, great. Well, oh, people, say, oh, people say, oh, you shouldn't dress him up as a frog. I say, why? I dress up my editor as a frog yeah. and a pratterpillar, and I tease... <laughs> you know what I mean? I yeah. torture Robin Ince, the comedian, yeah. and I torture Carl, and he's six foot one. I look down on all my friends equally. You do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. This is funny. Uh, can I just say that um, that rather flies in the face of him saying I'm a great actor, doesn't it, really? <laughs> See, it, it doesn't really help Also, that, does it? that's nothing to do with the show. Warwick just came round my house. Yeah. And, um, and he said, why have you got a frog outfit that fits me? And I said I had it made especially. <laughs> See, <laughs> so that's dedication. Okay. Oh, yeah, you very dedicated <laughs> to making people look ridiculous. Absolutely. <laughs> and you've just signed up to host uh, the Golden Globes again. Yeah, third time. Definitely last. Um, but um, I had a absolute blast last time because over here in britain last year when it was all it was very much like chinese whispers depending on what you read depending on what you know like oh everyone was horrified was there anyone who was genuinely really upset by it i don't know but i think some people must have been to to start the rumor but i, I think I, I made a decision and i'm going to do the same this year do I pander to the 200 egos in the room or do i pander to the 200 million people watching around the world yeah. And it's that one, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you don't often apologise to your critics, but why did you feel you had to say sorry about Mongate recently? Um, because uh, I, I was wrong. I didn't, I didn't use it in that tour. The, the, there's still a rumour going round that I was saying Mong aimed at Down syndrome people. Mm. Never said it to mean that. Never would. Uh, uh, we use that term, and I know loads of people that do, they say, you know, monged out, like, I'm, you know, I'm mm, drunk, or yeah. it's a drug term, or, oh, you mong, meaning <laughs> you're an idiot, you're, yeah. you know. Uh, and uh, the derivation is clearly from that, but... I thought it was like 25 years ago when the last time that was so. So yeah. what I, I, I words uh, do I change, and it? it's well, like I gay. I did it in gay exactly. Yeah. yeah, that that no longer means happy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel so gay today. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like today, where I hurt my back, I was bent out of all proportion. Yeah. But it's a bit all queer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we could do this all night. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, and I, 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 my act. Even in my stand-up, I said, you know, I used the word and I explained it didn't mean Down syndrome. Right? Yeah, that was two yeah. years ago. Yeah. But it's, it's like, you know... Um, yeah, people love a scandal, They love they? a scandal. They love a scandal. And, um, uh, you know, I think <laughs> this was the best, most concerted backlash yet, I think, wasn't it? Mongate going into Dwarfgate. <laughs> dwarf <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But again, you know what I say. Dwarfgate, that's what you can have in... <laughs> Got a good idea. Dwarfgate, that's what you can have in your dwarf wall. A dwarf gate, yeah. Yeah, there you go! <laughs> Always working, nice always nice working. Very good, very good. Well, it's absolutely wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for coming on. You've been on loads of time. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. Worry, so David, and Vicky Devane! After the break, the screen will come dancing judges and Ed Sheeran will be here. I'll see you in part three. <laughs> Welcome back. Ed Sheeran will be here in a bit. <laughs> yes. But first, performing the chat, chat, chat. Put your hands together for the real stars of Saturday Night Telly. It's the Strictly Come Dancing Judges! Yeah. Having us. Oh, I'm over the moon. We're excited, aren't we? <laughs> Let's 
have a drink. Oh, oh if you twist my arm. Oh. <laughs> 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 I hear you are um, lightweight. You're lightweight. I am. I'm, just, I'm useless. I'm anybody's after two glasses. Really? <laughs> Stop feeling Oh out. my God! I'm so excited. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> Where is Len? Where's Len? Oh, he's collecting his walnuts. <laughs> he's got to get them pickled by Christmas. Very, very busy. <laughs> is he coming on to me, or is this actually <laughs> the usual? I'm afraid, <laughs> darling. I'm <laughs> sorry, I can't help on. myself. No, I haven't seen like that. Some? Yes, please, thank would you. you. Like some? I've got some if you don't like that. No, uh, no I think I'll stick Cheers. with the rosé, darling. Molly Boo, <laughs> you should be celebrating. You passed your driving test. Hang <laughs> on, darling. I did indeed. To pass your driving test. I'd get driven, darling, but I bought a car, so I thought I can't just leave it outside. I've got to actually learn to drive, so <laughs> that's why I took it. We've got a picture of you. Look at that. Oh, yes. Well, that was the car I learned. Oh, it's not my car, though. Oh, no, lucky you! <laughs> <laughs> but, Did you fit in that it car? Was a, yes, but it was a challenge. It's a challenge. Say. Especially with those shoes. Have you seen Have the you shoes? Have you seen the shoes, Alan? Oh, that, is, my God. that is something. <laughs> This is semi-drag. It is. <laughs> How can you do a three-point turn in one of those? <laughs> Put your Cuban heel on the dashboard and look fabulous. <laughs> oh, stretching. I can't. Can you imagine him doing a drive? I can't. <laughs> but in finding your blind spot. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, strictly sad. It is the biggest show on the box, isn't it? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for you for watching it. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's good. I mean, it's great to be appreciated. You know, and the show yeah. is fantastic. We have a fantastic cast. Mm. We have a great time, and it, it is all a bonus. You know, we we go there and we do the best we can really to entertain. And is being appreciated is really is amazing. And even Camilla's a big fan. Oh, absolutely. She came to oh, the yeah. uh, the studio. Look at that. Does she know her stuff? Does yeah, she no, she's really... very, very good, actually. She has natural rhythm, which I is good. I think she's a bit of a strictly strength. stalker. No, she, no loves, well, she just really? loves dance. She but absolutely she, loves it. And she's she been knows watching. everything about the show. She even yeah. recognised my nan really? from when she used yes. to sit in the audience when I was a contestant. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember you. Yeah. Did you ask Camilla if she wanted to come on? She, that would have been amazing. Well, but Anita asked her, yeah, didn't Anita she? Yeah, did, but I don't she think so, uh, declined. We want Pippa, do we? We want Pippa. We want Pippa. Have you, have you, a pro how close have you been to Pippa saying yes? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a no, then, Alicia. <laughs> now, when are you going to be coming on? You should be Come in on, it. You oh, should yeah. be in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I watch your show and I know you've got the moves. Yours is all like Charleston, the tango. I'm like popping and locking. Booty shaking. Are you, are you, are you, are you giving it all back? The migraine skank. Are you going all back? Street dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you do that, I will come on it. Camilla will be watching at home going, What? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Alan Carr popping and rocking? <laughs> now, who's going to win? We can't. I think the boy's going to win this year. I, I think. Who could beat Harry? Harry's, Harry's very good. Harry. Jason's very good. Jason's good. Chelsea's well. very Chelsea's good. Very good. Yeah. Alex is doing well. She's improving. Yeah. You know, I, I, it's very open. I don't think we can really call it now. You, I... That's the politically correct answer. Come on, pick one the person. Come is, on. All the girls really like Harry. Oh, he's come really, on. He's, 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 he's a good guy. He's a McFly lovely boy. Yeah, but he so. can mess up the freestyle dance. Yeah. So anything can happen, you know, once you get to that. Mm. I mean, um, Anton Dubet, I feel sorry for him, you know. I don't. He don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Call it as it is, Alicia. Does he get extra money? Because he can have, like, Anne Widdicombe's gusset in his face. You, <laughs> you get danger money. You <laughs> want it, definitely. Well, you were... have, you ever, have you ever seen anything? You know, like when Edwina Curry and that lot do the splits? Oh, have you ever oh, yeah. seen it? Oh, yeah. We do see We've copped eyeful. Yeah, we've got plenty. That the camera doesn't see. Well, because the judges... All sorts of nasties, darling. <laughs> I don't see any nasties, I have to say. Well, we get a few flashes. <laughs> we get a flashes. few flashes, yeah. And I was thinking, do the men, when they get aroused, 
mean, what do you mean on the dance floor? Yeah, on the mat. But because they're rubbing up against each other, gyrating. Oh. I mean, you know, do they get hard of them? A hard <laughs> on the dance floor? Nervous, darling. The <laughs> two nervous. Nervous. No, they're well, just play. Everyone is really frisky on the show, though. You've got to be honest. Yeah, but he's like, frisky. Everybody is horny. When The year I was in it. Everyone is horny. <laughs> Oh, listen, 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 honestly, the year I was a contestant, everyone just was really gagging yeah. for it. Because... <laughs> no more drink for Alicia. No more drink for Alicia. No no <laughs> this is Chateau Gold. No, 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 no. There is no... Just give me the bottle. Just give me the bottle. Right there. No, no, no. Right. Eight to ten hours a day yeah. rubbing up next to each other. Yeah. Of course, you're going to get a bit frisky. He's even touching himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never know that. I've done it for nine years. I've never seen any boner. And no, she's I like... have <laughs> <laughs> never seen any boner. <laughs> Is a very flirtatious sexual thing. Oh, it is, so it is. obviously, naturally, yeah. every year somebody gets <laughs> together. Locked the bloody <laughs> padlock. <laughs> padlock. Although this year nobody's got together yet. There's not. Well, we every, every year we hear a rumor or a bit of gossip about <laughs> yeah, someone. About I've not heard anything this year. Boring. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. No, I'm but shocked. Is, is it true? You're all dancers and everything. Yeah. Is it true what they say what? that the better the dancer you are, the better you are? Well, in I think so, Alan. <laughs> Every year, Strictly gets criticised for being too raunchy. Oh, God, here does we go. It, it does. Ridiculous. I mean, him going like that. Oh, Thrustgate. Oh, I know. And you went to grab it. Yeah, but he's exaggerated because, you know, that move... Michael Jackson was doing that move for years, you know. Yeah. I think, I think you know, we have to be... Seriously, there's one... People are getting so kind of wound up about, you know, a bit of flesh, and then you blow their head off and chopping guts out. I, you know, what's wrong with a <laughs> little bit of... I that episode of Strictly. <laughs> <laughs> Robin for Dobson. Really? <laughs> 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 People seem to be more lenient about violence. <laughs> 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 I know, I know. Do you know what I mean? I know. It's but just the prudes. No, if they're prudish about Strictly Come Dancing, have you seen the Argentinian version? Oh, my God. It? Yes, oh, I have. It's brilliant. Nuts. Oh, my God. It's filth. <laughs> Take a look. at It's more like a porno than yeah. a dancing oh. show. <laughs> this, is, what, this is Argentina Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> with that seven! Seven! <laughs> <laughs> I know, can it's you believe uh, that? That true. would never happen on the BBC. Never at the BBC. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine Bruce? He said they want... They, 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 didn't they do well? <laughs> <laughs> You're my favourite. How did he feel? How did he feel? Yeah. <laughs> in they wet, are darling, wet. <laughs> Stop it, Bruno. But it's you. You. You're you just leading us in. Bruno. We're going to have to take a break there. Join us again in a few minutes when I'll be chatting some more with the Strictly judges and Ed Sheeran will be performing live. See you in part four. <laughs> Welcome back to part four. Ed Sheeran will be singing soon, but look who's still here. It's the Strictly Come Dancing Judges. <laughs> we can't talk about Strictly without mentioning X Factor. And how chuffed are you? Yeah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, let's get You've got like dancing Tourette's. <laughs> 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 
because you... Um... <laughs> <laughs> you must be over the moon that you are whooping their ass. I don't really look at it like that. Do you? Well, he's good, you know, he's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come we're on. completely but, in competition well, we're with not one completely. another. I mean, they're no. sort of wannabes and we're all... Oh, no, no, no. Well, no, they no. are, they're wannabe stars, aren't they? They're... Oh, you mean the contestants? Oh, the contestants. I thought you meant the show as a part. Contestants. And our lot are already celebrities for one reason or yeah. another. So I just don't understand what all the fuss is all about. Like, why can't we just enjoy both shows? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I don't get... I don't get... Why do you think the public give a shit? No, I think what it is, no, the public is good for no, to have no, both of them. It's the producers and the media that, like, ramp it up, but the public don't care. They'll just Sky Plus one and watch the other one later. Yeah. 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 Alicia, yeah. the voice of reason. I can't believe Alicia's become the voice of reason after a whole bottle of Matthias Rose. <laughs> <laughs> what are the lottery numbers, Alicia? Well... <laughs> I mean, have you got any theories why X Factor isn't doing so what well? What the problem is, Al, they focus too much on the drama. You drama. They focus too much on the drama than the actual singing. It's yeah. all about everything else yeah. other than the singing, and that's what the show should be you about. You see, Alicia, you've crossed that line now from being quite a fun <laughs> drunk to a violent one. <laughs> 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 Craig needs more. Alicia's on water. You know what it is? Yeah, I feel like I'm just sitting at home with my mates having a gossip. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but listen, you... <laughs> there isn't a formula. If everybody, every, everybody had the formula, everybody would have, like, you know, number one shows. Yeah, there yeah. are intangibles, you know, that's it what happens. It swings in Next around. year, they'll be beating us, and then the year yeah, after that, we'll be back and, you Who know. cares? <laughs> 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 Dog on Christmas? <laughs> but you know... <laughs> but you know... Well, if you can beat them, join them. Come yeah. on, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know who can sing and who can't sing. But, you know, with um, Strictly, some of your criticism... Weak hands and weak feet, what does well, that he mean? Like, he likes is that weak? Thumb, is that oh, he's, he's, he's extremely got a, he's weak. Got a if fetish. you do this, that is like... Craig will knock you down three points yeah. for that. It's got to be like... And he's got to be that. He's got to much prefer the hands to be he's like that. Oh, in Craig. ballroom, but that's just me, you know. Could you teach me some of these dances? Yeah. I mean, I... Yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Charles. Yeah. Oh, oh, darling. Can you do the Charleston? Well, I'm of sorts. Yeah. Well, what are the main things, though, with first? Because they know it got Swivel, to get Swivel, yes. darling. Swivel, Swivel and being. Well, it should actually <laughs> suit you because it's a bit goofy, gawky, <laughs> and weird. <laughs> so, it might be the only time. You know what might that suit you, you Craig? Do. This. <laughs> Good, doing a dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> right. I've got to stop drinking, I'm telling you. But where was it? Smiles. Smiles. Swivels. Big Focus body movements. Come on, stand on here. Okay, OK, OK. We're going to start you with the basic. You do it first, you do it first. We're just going to step back. here, step on our left. Oh, step, touch, yeah. step and back. OK. Step, touch, step, back. Now you add the swivel. Come on, let's go! Oh, that's that's good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just quickly, no, no, can I just quickly get, I don't feel, wait there, wait there, please, give me one second, please. <laughs> It's for you. I'm loving this midriff look, darling. Yeah, you have to tie it up. Tie it up. Tie it up. Yeah. Oh, no, it won't tie. Yeah, oh, there you go. That's better. That's more Latin. Yeah, that is <laughs> it's a bit more. It's a bit more Ella Jordan. <laughs> now, don't forget your swivel, darling, a big smile. You've got to have flat palms okay. for the audience. So you're doing here, 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 here. And keep the swivel the right wing. OK. Come on, Alan. Cue the music. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> seven! Oh. Well, 
That was impressive. Ten! Yeah! Oh. Bruno, Bruno. Oh. I'm in the zone now. Teach me the Paso Doble. Oh! oh. 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 You have every dancer okay, is... OK, you have to be masculine. You. Masculine. Masculine. Manly. Hips forwards. <laughs> Hips forwards. Shoulders back. Spanish lines. <laughs> so, sure, this is the Plaza de Toros. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you uh, Appel. 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 Flamenco <laughs> arms. So, I'm not feeling this. Wait, oh, no, wait, there, please. <laughs> Are you feeling it now? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! There you go. You have to move the cape, darling. In front of... I'm the bull. Do I... me... You're the bull. I am the bull. <laughs> You're not supposed to wear it. You're not the phantom of the opera, for God's sake. <laughs> You're supposed to use it. You're supposed to use it. <laughs> come on, give me a go. Yeah, come on. <laughs> come to the... To the... Hear the music! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Twelve. So it's just in my nature. I mean, you were missing a lot of the appels, darling. I mean, the footwork was a complete and absolute disaster. But he made a really good ball. He did okay. make a good ball. No, no, Bruno, it's all right, it's all right. You were masculine. Hey, I'm going to teach you a new dance. What, the migration? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. No, I'm going to teach you a dance, yeah? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you're the Lombarda. Oh, dear. <laughs> the forbidden dance. <laughs> Tonight, let's dance the Lombarda. Come on. Hear the music. Welcome to Friday night with me, Jonathan Ross. Welcome to Alan Carr China. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm coming back home, don't. Oh. I've just been. Oh. <laughs> don't patronise me, Alicia. 